what are my reflections? First and foremost, I look at the environment we're in. Look at the 15 major companies that are on the chemical space. And what do you see if you just look at them? We see that volumes are down across the board by about 15, 16%. And we then look at Solvay, we're down 13%. We're doing actually a bit better than others. And that's really important. That's one thing. The other key thing is our pricing is up. Everybody else is flat to down. You bring those two together. We're one of the few companies, and you mentioned it, that has confirmed its guidance. And why is that important? Because in Q1, we were the only one to have increased our guidance. In Q2, I think we're one of two, three perhaps, that have confirmed the guidance. That to me says what? It says we have quality earnings, and we expect that to continue in quite a weak environment. Obviously, you can't defy gravity. What you can use is use that to accelerate the momentum, the self-help, the focus on pricing costs and cash. That's how I look at things. So if I view it from the outside, I think steady as she goes, it's solid. We're determined to continue to deliver that. And how important uh, is the service that you're providing to the aviation sector as they move towards increasing or upgrading their sustainability profile, a key component of how growth is being forecast at your companies and in terms of how much um, order book do you expect to come from the aviation sector? How, how, uh, how much contribution would they likely make to your overall revenues? No, thank you for highlighting the question. In fact, the composites business, which serves aviation, is the only business that actually is bucking the trend and is growing in Q2. We don't see much of that around. And in terms of order book and visibility, what's really attractive about that business, more than many others, is the fact you have visibility over multiple years. Not quite order book, but once you certify on a platform, you can take that to the bank and say, this is really solid. It's almost like a bond, and you can expect that to generate recurring income going forward. The good news is after the turmoil of COVID and supply chain bottlenecks across the whole of the industry, we're overcoming those. Demand is growing. If you try and take care of airplanes today, you see they're very, very busy. That has a knock-on effect. Build rates are increasing. So we're very well positioned, very, very well positioned, and we'll be there to help our customers recover and grow. And that's, that's really good position to be in.